A pleasant good morning. I am Father Ivan Eldon, Rector of the Parish of St. Patrick's Central Eleuthera. Welcome to the Anglican Church Morning Devotions for Saturday, the fourth day of December, 2021. Let us pray. Almighty God, give us grace to cast away the works of darkness and put on the armor of light. Now in the time of this mortal life in which your son Jesus Christ came to visit us in great humility, that in the last day when he shall come again in his glorious, glorious majesty to judge both the living and the dead, we may rise to life immortal through him who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. For our reflections this morning, I want us to look at the Gospel of St. Matthew, the ninth chapter and the 36th verse. When he saw the crowd, he had compassion for them, because they were harassed and helpless, like sheep without a shepherd. What does compassion mean to us today, my friends? Literally, it is suffering with another. In the gospel, we see Jesus was moved with compassion. Lost souls move Christ to cry out to them, to seek them, and to save them. My friends, Compassion will move you to do something for those upon whom you have that compassion. And surely Jesus was moved with compassion for the lost sheep by surrendering his life's blood on the cross to provide forgiveness for sins. Do you have compassion for those who are lost in sin? Or do you just hate them? Remember, my friends, you and I were once lost as they are. And it is our job to tell them that there is forgiveness in Jesus Christ. I want us this morning to look briefly at three groups that Jesus had compassion for. First, he had compassion for the sick. In St. Matthew's Gospel, the 14th chapter and the 14th verse, says when jesus landed and saw the large crowd he had compassion on them and healed their sick and again in mark 1 and 41 filled with compassion jesus reached out his hand and touched the man i am willing he said be clean jesus loved sick people my friends he also loved those who are, who are well, but he is moved with that inward affection towards sick people. I know somewhat of this compassion as I have seen my mother and my mother-in-law and other people go, go through sickness, and I always felt moved for them. When I am in the hospital visiting the sick, I reach out to all people. It doesn't matter if they are members of my congregation or not. I always try to seek out those who need the message of hope, which only is found this morning in Jesus Christ. The second group of, of, that Jesus had compassion for was the hungry. In St. Matthew's Gospel, the 15th chapter and the 32nd verse, the Bible tells us Jesus called the disciples to him and said, I have compassion for these people. They have already been with me three days and, and have nothing to eat. I don't want to send them away hungry or they may collapse on the way. My friends, Jesus had compassion for those who were hungry. He knew hunger as no other except maybe for Moses. Jesus, before he preached his first sermon or taught his first lesson, went into the wilderness and fasted for 40 days and nights. And the Bible tells us that afterwards he was hungry. 
Jesus knew what hunger felt like physically, just as do so many today. Many in the world today are living in the garbage and the trash cans of others. Jesus also had compassion for the sorrowful. St. Luke's Gospel, the seventh chapter, verses 13 and 14 says, When the Lord saw her, his heart went out to her and said, Do not cry. Then he went up and touched the coffin, and those carrying it stood still. And he, and he said, Young man, I say to you, get up. If you have ever had a loved one die, you know something of the trouble of this widow woman. Her son had died, and when the Lord Jesus Christ saw her, he had compassion for her, on her. He did not have compassion on the dead boy, but on his mother. He knew her sorrow, he knew her tears, and his compassion caused him to raise the woman's son from the dead. Jesus knows and has compassion on you and me this morning too, my friends. When we have great sorrow, we must trust in his great love and have faith in him during our time of sorrow. Jesus is the Lord and Savior of our lives and he is a God of compassion who reaches out in all situations this morning. All we have to do is have faith and trust in him today. Let us pray. Lord Jesus Christ, may your kingdom come and, and all who are oppressed in darkness. Fill our hearts with compassion for the lonely, the oppressed, and for those around us who do not know your love and your freedom. Use us to bring the good news of your saving love and mercy this day in jesus name we pray amen thank you for tuning in my friends please share these devotions with as many people as possible god bless mm -hmm.